If you're in grade 11, you're going to see this question on your final exam. We're given the graph F below. Given the point at x equals 4, what is the transformation of the point minus F to x minus 3? This is the answer. Now let me show you why. What we need to know is the three types of transformations. Reflection associated with the variable A. Stretching or compressing which is associated with the variable B translation, which is associated with the variable K. Reading the function, what are the values for A, B, and K? This minus in front means A is equal to minus 1. Now I read 2x, that means B is equal to 2. I read minus 3, that means K is equal to minus 3. This is x and this is y. Now it's going to be x over b and it's going to be a times y plus k. We can use this formula to determine the transformation of the point at x equals 4. So when x equals 4, it starts here and then it gets reflected. So that means the opposite point on the y axis. So minus 2 becomes 2, 4 becomes minus 4, 2 becomes minus 2 then this will be the transformation as a result of reflection. Then it gets stretched by a factor of 2, or in this case, compressed, because the x-coordinate is getting divided by 2. 4 will become 2, 2 will become 1, 0 will be 0, minus 2 will be minus 1, minus 4 will be minus 2, just like this. So that is the result of reflection and compressing, also known as stretching. The final step is translation, and that means everything is going to be vertically shifted down by 3. So we were at 0, and now it's going to be minus 3 because 0 minus 3 is minus 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. Minus 7 minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. So this is the final result after three transformations, you went from here to here, and from here to here, and you ended up at the point 2 minus 3. You can also get it by the formula down here. So we say it's going to be 4 divided by 2, because b is 2, and 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 3, that gives minus so there are two ways that you can show the answer. You can show it by drawing on the graph, or you can use this formula right here. Make sure to follow us and ask your question in the comments, because...